Hi everyone. I'm Kim Durant. I haven't made uh, videos in this way before, so I'm trying a new format. I want to um, tell you about a dream I had in the early hours of the 29th of July, 2018. I had sort of forgotten about it. I remember the dream very, very vividly, very. Um, but I'd forgotten about it until about December. Yeah, it was actually the early days of December 2020, last year, last month. So um, this dream was, God gave it to me two years early, or two and a half years earlier than I needed to know about it. And the interpretation didn't come until, like I say, early December. Um, at first, I was thinking that it was something to do with me personally. And um, I remember I was sitting on my porch and I made a recording that I put up on YouTube in a private folder. Uh, that I could, you know, listen to later on. I was talking about the dream. And there's my cat there. It's a blurry picture. It's, there's my cat, Cody. Um, and uh, me sitting there on the porch talking about it. Now, this dream, like I say, I thought it was a personal interpretation, but now I know it's absolutely not personal. It's for the whole world, the entire world. And I've often known that when I've been given prophetic dreams and visions, they are usually for the whole world or sometimes just for the body of Christ, the bride of Christ. But in this case, it's, it's for the bride of Christ as a warning and for anyone else who will heed that warning. Um, the dream was, I saw my two arms out in front of me, my forearms were together at the wrists and, and at the elbows. And my hands were sort of up in front of me, so I could see my forearms. And there was a white snake wrapped, coiled around my forearms, binding them together so I couldn't move. And it was a, a largish um, white snake. And its head was up near where my hands were. And it reared back its head. And when it did, I realized it was a cobra. It had um, the hood and the ribs of, you know, down the side of the hood and everything. It was a white cobra. And as I looked at it, it was beautiful. Um, it was a pure white. And in the little scales, it seemed to have flecks of pink pale pink and pale yellow. It was just beautiful the way it sort of um, shone in the light. Anyway, this thing wrapped around tightly around my arms and I was aware that I could not move. I could not work. I could not uh, eat. I could not scratch myself. I couldn't move at all. I, I was just, I mean, I could walk, but I could not do anything with my hands. This is all so, so significant. It's amazing. Um, it's perfect. I didn't know what it meant. I thought it was a personal interpretation. Well, I know, now know I have the full interpretation. This is what the snake was like. From I, I viewed it from the top of the head. And that's when I saw the pale pink and pale yellow um, scales. Well, this snake reared back and it bit my right hand between my thumb and my forehand, forefinger in the sort of webbing area there, the, the soft webbing area. It bit down hard and it gripped and then it, it took away its head and then, you know, and then it, it waited a while and then it bit down hard again. So it bit me twice. 
but there was a distinctive interval between the two bites. And I didn't know what the reason was, but there were two distinct bites. And then once the snake had bitten me twice, it uncoiled and it left me and I was able to move around. But I was thinking, oh boy, what, what are going to, you know, what are the effects of this going to be on me? And later on, when I woke up, I thought, what a strange question. Obviously, <laughs> it's poison. It's going to kill me. I'm going to die. But in the dream, I'm like, what are the effects going to be? And I was very trepidatious. So I thought it was a strange question to ask, what are the effects going to be? Because you know what the effects of a cobra bite are going to be. Well, I have the full interpretation. To dream of a cobra symbolizes emotional hypnosis. You are dancing to the tune of another person or situation in your life. A cobra is a sign that you have allowed a fear or other issue to totally control your decisions and are too ac accepting of it. Does any of this ring true to you? <laughs> I might have to make more than one video about this. Emotional hypnosis. I've got to be careful here. I don't want this video to be taken down. What about sorcery? Pharmakeia, the Greek word. Are any of you who are awake getting this? Dancing to the tune of another person or situation in your life, or perhaps dancing to the tune of the serpent, dancing to the tune of an organization like a new world situation. A cobra is a sign that you have allowed a fear or other issue to totally control your decisions and are too accepting of it. Accepting, not accepting. Feeling controlled by people or financial situations that scare you when you consider cutting them off. Oh my goodness. This is from a Bible dream interpretation site. It's got nothing to do with the V or the V Russ, if you know what I'm talking about here in code. This is a Bible dream interpretation site. Nothing to do with any of this. This has been a, a Bible dream um, site that I have been visiting for years to interpret the dreams that I've had. Feeling controlled by people or financial situation. Situations that scare you when you consider cutting them off. People that control you with sex that you feel losing if you anger them. Well, that's not really appropriate, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? Fear of leaving a religion you've lost faith in. Feeling forced to do something when it's obvious you don't really care about it anymore. Fearing leaving someone who controls you. Well, the first part of that, the first two thirds of that, I mean, like, wow. Cobras belong to the subgroup of snakes known as, as elapids. There are over 270 species of cobras and their relatives and elapids. Venom contains postsynaptic neurotoxins that spread rapidly in its victim's bloodstream causing respiratory failure and eventually death. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, guys, can you? I think I might have to leave this one here because I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload this. I've never used this feature before, so I'll, I'll end this one here and see how I go. Talk to you soon.